Oh. One, two, three. I wanted to join the vlog because I wanted to try this. Yeah. Mahal pala to. Ito daw yung pinakamahal na kape, daw. Pero feeling ko sabi mo hindi. Pero sabi ni Google, para sa taong walang alam sa kape, also known as me, maniniwala ako kay Google, syempre. Pero ano mong pinakamahal na kape? Parang 2.5 siya for... Mura lang yan. 100 grams. <laughs> so ah. parang 25,000 pesos. Huh? Per kilo? Per kilo. The most expensive specialty coffee now is... Oh, English pala tayo. Okay. This year is um, the newest record. It's $10,000 per kilo. Elida Gesha Natural from Lamastus Family Estate. Kasi nila Lamas na rin. <laughs> okay. In the Philippines. In the that Philippines. That you know of, ha? The most expensive. Uh oh. Um, that you know of. Can I just open it the way I... Whatever way. Oh, oh. Okay, so this year in the Philippines, the most expensive coffee is from Arnel Morales, Davao del Sur. It's a Katimor Natural. Um, and it costs $4,000 per kilo. $200? No, 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 no. Mali, mali. It's $25 per kilo pala. Total value pala yung $4,000. Yes, and the lot size is 173 kilograms. So it's $25 per kilo. Ang mura naman nun? Yes. Kasi the grade is only 84. Mm. And for the for the Robusta, the Robusta is more expensive. It um, the, the closing price is $66 per kilo. Kilo. And it's from Rajan Basco from Sultan Kudrat. I actually have a stash of uh, Rajan Basco. Those are the most expensive. So uh, the grade of the number one Robusta coffee right now in the Philippines is 86.45. Okay, so we're going to brew... We're, we're going to brew this um, Kopi Luwak from JJ Royal. No, that's really the amoy kape. Because it's Robusta. So it's... Normal and at the same time, Kopi Luwak doesn't have anything, any basically. Oh, my nest coffee. Oh, oh, talaga. Okay, for those of you who don't know, Kopi Luwak is the coffee that you get from um, Civet Pu. Um, so, the way that the coffee is processed basically it doesn't have any special processing. There is no any special processing that is happening with the coffee except that it went through a civet cat. Wait, it has a certificate mm. of authenticity. Congratulations on your premium Luwak experience by JJ Royal Coffee. We are excited to share our lifelong love affair of nature's best coffee with you. This certificate hereby guarantees that JJ Royal Luwak Coffee uses only the rare, specially selected 100% Pure Lua coffee beans. Cool! May ganun pa siya. Okay, the reason why this um, this coffee becomes expensive is because, of course, they pick they pick out the coffee beans from the civet cat um, poo. That's why um, that's why it is very labor intensive. costly. Labor intensive. That's why it is very labor intensive. On the other side of the spectrum, Kopi Luwak right now is being um, condemned in other countries. There are some farms that put civet cats in cages and then force them to eat just coffee in their diet. Excited ako kasi dati na, ano, I just read about this. Mm -hmm. Or I just hear about this. Mm -hmm. And when I bought it, I didn't naman understand what I was buying. Uh, so na excited ka when you learned that Oh, the what you, you bought is the luwak. Yeah. Because uh, okay. I just say, oh, which one's the best? Oh, they buy the best for you all the time. Okay. I actually bought oh, a really? bag before when I visited. Ah. No, 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 no. That no? No, no, no. Before pa. That that's from Mrs. Lopez. The luwak. Ah, really? Yes. I how but sweet. It's, um, Thank you. Grounds. When <laughs> Kitty Caraga and I visited Penang, I bought you coffee luwak. Oh, wait, before. Did, did I drink it? I'm not sure. 
Maybe. Pero I those are, I know, drip coffees. Okay. Game, 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 game. Okay, the bag is um, silver packaging, but it's not resealable. So. I know. What can you face more? <gasps> so pretty! <laughs> <Di ba? laughs> Isn't yeah, it pretty? It's very oily and very shiny. Look! How many grams? Uh, 13. Ganda niya, oh. Na dun, ah. Ay, sorry. Ay, 14. Okay lang ba na I'm holding the... Oh, kasi ako, basa kamay ko. Uh, what are you using? Okay, so for this coffee, we're gonna use the Easy Presso Q-Air. Okay. 24, 25, 26. Okay. We're gonna do 26 numbered clicks on the Easy Presso Q-Air. You wanna try? It's very easy. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes! Why? <laughs> ah, because big. Big size. Oh, see, and dami pang buo. Oh. Maybe because also robusta beans are round and fat. Fat, round and fat like me. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe ka, fat and round. So ano thin and long? Liberica. So balang araw magiging liberica rin ako. Arabica is sexy. Bakit? Sexy lang siya. It's not fat. It's not very thin. For me, you're always Arabica. <laughs> <laughs> Ano gusto mong dripper? Ay, gusto ko yan. Hmm. Ay, alam ko na kung ano gusto ko. Ano, which one? Bago yan eh. Ah, oh, okay. So, this is one <laughs> of the products that we got from Taipei. This is from Sahor's Coffee. If you want to visit his shop, I'll put the link here. Okay, um, we haven't, we haven't really made a video about this dripper. So, the, this is a product from Fellow. It's from the US and it comes in this set. So you have your own carafe. This is a carafe and it can be um, it can be your cup as well to drink your coffee, but it's a really nice carafe because it has a really nice pouring um, pouring flow. And it's double wall. And it's double wall. And then this one is your um, dosing tray. Mm. So you have two dots there have two dots here so the the one dot is for the single dot is for one cup and then two dots is for your two cup so that if you don't have it if you don't really bring scale with you when you travel you can still use it and brew coffee mm, nice. this is a funnel because I later I will show you why you need the funnel and this is the actual dripper before we start brewing, let's prepare the dripper. This paper is from Fellow. It came with the package, but you can also use like regular Kalita Wave filters. Do, do they sell Kalita Wave here in the Philippines? Yes, yes. It's, Where? It's fairly easy to buy. Uh. Anywhere. Shopee. Um, mm -hmm. there, are, there are a lot of resellers also. So we have to wet it, diba? Yes. Yeah. First, before... We start brewing, we prepare the paper. So we're gonna pour water into this. Oh, uh -oh. it's not it's not seen. It's okay. okay. Right. Okay, here is the hard part. You see the ridges here? The reason why you need a funnel is because if you if you pour your um, coffee grounds directly there, it's gonna be hard. Because a lot of grinders have very big openings like the Comandante and the Easy Pressos. But we actually have a small catch cup right now. But I still wanna show you why you need the funnel. So this is the purpose why you need a funnel. So you put your funnel there and then you can carelessly <laughs> Pour your coffee grounds into it. Mm. Okay, and then that's it. That's the only Use. purpose, <laughs> purpose of the funnel. So you don't really need to bring it. No? 
No. They're just being very thoughtful. Yeah, That's they're why just they being very that. thoughtful. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so we're going to start brewing this coffee. And we're going to do four equal parts of 50 ml. So let's start. Pero, but ganun? Sa aroma lang siya five. <laughs> Yan yung finocos na lang. Uh, As you can see, the coffee grounds and the bed is rising very high because it is roasted um, very dark, so it has a lot of gas. As you can see, I am pouring very slowly so as to not agitate the coffee. Oui. Our third pour. I'm trying my very best not to disturb the bed a lot because this is a flat bottom dripper and we are supposed to get a very sweet output out of this. All I'm trying to do is trying to sink in all the floating um, dark coffees that are floating on the surface and then we're gonna do our last pour to complete the 200 ml water and maybe maybe I'll go over 200 so that we can so that we lengthen the ratio a bit maybe do a 1 is to 16 ratio Remember that dosing tray in the beginning? So that dosing tray also doubles as the drip tray for the dripper. So you can actually put it there and the silicone right under can lock it onto that dosing tray so that you don't... Hi, so that nice. it is secure. See how, how nice and how well thought of this product is. So now we have a cup of golden kopi luwak. <laughs> okay, okay. What, what do you want? Purple and I'm gonna have pink. Pink. Oh, yeah. Okay. Pink. Yours is purple, mine is pink. Okay. I'm excited. Actually, you're gonna like this coffee. Me? Yes. Ah. Because uh, this is the type of profile that you like. It's the profile that you enjoy. So we're gonna try the kopi luwak if it's really worth the price. <laughs> okay. Hindi ba sunog? Tapang? Pero oh, nga, ito, ay, this, is the, this is the one that I like. Mm -hmm. You are correct. Because mm -hmm. it's not... Funky. That's the, term, that's the term that you're looking for. Funky. Funky? Uh, I not value na sobrang expensive. Niya. Yes. Um, supposedly, wala. Kasi nga, there is nothing special about Kopi Luwak except that it went through <laughs> a civet cut. Mm, so it's unlike your yeah. other beans, mm -hmm. na you taste the banana or the wine. Yes, but so cheap yung panlas ako kasi talagang gusto ko. Eh. No naman, no naman. It's maybe the right term is um, it's not cheap. Maybe the right term is because um, it's simple lang eh. Simplistic, yes. Maybe the right term is simplistic. So do do you want to try a robusta that has something in it? <laughs> Sige. Game. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting coffee from my secret stash. This is 
a secret stash of Rajon Basco. This is the number one um, Robusta in the Philippines right now. This is what is priced at $66 per kilogram right now. Can we use the blue one? Okay. Okay. Let's use the blue one. Okay, we're gonna use a size 02 V60 to brew the Rajon Basco coffee. Yay! Commandante, commandante! Hindi, ZP6. Ay, ZP6. Tapos kailangan siya i-ganon. Fast learner. Ay, dapat pala hindi ito yung ginamit ko. Kasi hindi nagmamatch. Okay, we're gonna change V60s though. Okay. Sorry, see? It's gonna match the whole setup. Can you put it? You wanna smell? Banga, di ba? See? Matching na siya. Kape. So, ayaw. Wait, how many pours are you gonna do? Three pours. So, we're gonna do a proper bloom of 30 ml first. Then we're gonna do a second pour of um, maybe 100 ml. And then the last pour is to complete the 200 ml water. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, 100 na. Ah, 130 dapat. Ano siya actually? Sino ulit na gawa ng beans? Ray John Basco. Friend mo? Ah, naging friend ko na rin siya. Sa Jensen. Ah. Excited na ako dun sa film mo. Pwede tapusin mo na. Okay, I'm gonna do it four pours because of the concentration of the beans. So I'm still uh, at the third pour. I'm still extracting more. So. Ano naman? Because of the color of the foam. So I cut my water so that we can do another pour. What should the color of the foam be? Yeah, and once it clears out, then that's the end of your. Uh, extraction, but as you can see, oh, you can you are still getting foam. Oh. We ended with 230 ml. Actually, that's one. It's 17. Eh? Okay. We're gonna try it. Bango. Alright, alright, alright. Ba't gano'n? Anong ba't gano'n? Parang gano'n. Yung amoy? Hindi, yung usok. Ewan ko. Eh kasi maliit yung opening. Tapos sininghot mo yata. Ang sakit ha? We're gonna try this Ray John Basco Fine Robusta. This is the top. This is the top Robusta bean in the Philippines right now. From? Um, Sultan Kudarat. Okay. So, may mga plantation din ba dito sa may Luzon? Luzon, yes. There are coffee farms in Tanay, Cavite. Um, of ah, course, Cavite. Benguet, Laguna, um, Batangas. Where else? Uh, Nueva Vizcaya. I think Isabella has coffee plant farms also. Ito lang ako maamoy. Mahina yung amoy niya. Walang amoy. Ah, wait. Don't say. Masim. <laughs> Pero masarap. Yes. Uh, for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, we're gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!